Hello, I'm Niall of Commander Fame, and this is a part three of our DMN tutorial. Um, if you're joining us, uh, what happened last time was we created a simple uh, DMN table, and then we attached that table to a BPM model so we could run it and add some inputs and stuff. Today, we're going to go back to the DMN model, and we're going to actually talk a little bit about how to make your DMN more um, sort of easy to understand and uh, give more context to it by using uh, the functions of a DRD or decision requirements diagram. So let's jump into that now. I'm going to navigate back to my um, project folder and then I'm going to go right into the uh, DMN table we created before. Um, now this is the DRD um, uh, uh, palette. We've already seen it before, we haven't really used it. Right now we've just been building the stuff in here and the DRD is there. So what is the purpose of a DRD? Well, it's both functional from for documentation and for execution. So let's talk about, first of all, the, the documentation um, um, uh, aspects of it. Well, first of all, you can give more context to your model by adding uh, input. So I'm going to drag this here. This is going to be called student. And this is, in fact, a um, uh, a representation of the variable that's being used here. Okay, so this is a variable that's going to be used in our table. Uh, we have student, we also have user status. Uh, let's connect that. We also have engagement score. Engagement score. Cool. And finally, we have another one which is is under 18. Now all of these then are referenced in the model itself because you can see we have this view which shows us where the, the of our inputs and we also have our status, our encouragement, our engagement score under 18 and student and they're all there quite happily. But uh, DRDs take more or can be more interesting than this because they can also uh, connect up other types of symbols and other tables. And we'll start with this thing here is under 18. Now, originally, this was a variable that we actually have back in our um, our, our um, front end. Where they have to take a box saying is under, under 18. And that makes no sense, really, because if we go back to our model, we'll see that we, in fact, have everything we need to make that calculation ourselves. The variables available here will show us that in our BPMN model, we have uh, this lovely user date of birth variable, right? So the user date of birth uh, comes in from the start event and we were able to use that. So let's think about how we can use that in our DMN to create uh, an actual value that tells us whether the user is under 18 um, instead of having a tick box. So if I return here, how would we do that? Well, DRDs um, and DMN in general has the ability to uh, add a little box and not a DMN table like this one, but rather a literal expression. And this is an expression you can run to ensure that we find out whether something is, um, uh, that, 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 that usually a feel expression that can be executed. Um, and here we can decide, uh, decide if uh, under 18. And we can take the result of that. Let's remove this and then add it right here. And now we can have a new input that we can put here, which is user date of birth. Okay, so now what we're showing is that we're taking the variable user date of birth, we're going to do some calculation with it, and then add it here to um, the result here. So now we get a Boolean that's generated based on the ID. So let's go into this uh, literal expression and talk about how we can make that happen. I'm going to go into this little thing here and unlike a DMN table, this is just a blank screen where we can add our feel expression. Um, the result we want is going to be called uh, is under 18. I'll make sure that variable is correct later, but that seems about right. And um, this here is going to contain our field expression. Now, what are we doing again? We're taking a date of birth. We're going to compare it to, we're going to change that into years and months and then compare it to today and then see if that is under 18 years old. So I'm going to start by typing years and months. Now, luckily, I know there's a function called years and months, but it also auto completes for me. So years and months and from 
and we need a date. The date we have is a string, so I'm going to need to take this one. So you can see the example there says the date. That's the date that we get. So from, and we know this is going to be a user uh, dob, okay, which is the variable we're getting from the uh, table. And finally, we need to compare that to today. Okay, and that will give us uh, the duration between today and the date of birth. So now we just need to um, make sure that's before um, the specific duration of 18 years. And for that, we're going to add P 18Y, which is 18 years in ISO 8601. So now we have an expression that says years and months, um, date of the current user, today so we've got that duration less than 18 years um, and we should then get a boolean back now here's a fun trick um, if you're not au fait on, on feel and you're like well what if this doesn't work uh, will i have to deploy everything and run it no you do not you can use a feel playground if you like uh, here it is um, what i can do is i can put my feel expression in there i can represent my variable which is going to be something like uh, DOB, it's going to be like 20, uh, 10, uh, 01, 01, and we get it true. Brilliant. So this seems to, seems to be good. So if I put that down to 1938, 6, false. Great. So now I've tested this field expression, which is correct. And now we have um, this lovely thing here. There is still, uh, so, and this gets us a variable called is under 18. Let's go back to our DRD. Let's go into our DMN table, is under 18. Let's put that in there. There we go, that's our variable. And we're almost ready to go, but there's one more thing I wanna show you, and that is business knowledge models. These are pretty new symbols for uh, Comunda um, and DMN, and they're used in order to define functions. And why would you do that? Well, there's a bunch of reasons. One, you can reduce complexity by moving a very complicated uh, field expression into a business knowledge model that you can then call when needed. This will simplify how a lot of the DMN tables and other expressions look. But you can also use it if something is reusable, for instance. And I'll show you an example right now we do have this lovely literal expression here but this is very long and relatively complicated if we had to this is this is an um, uh, designed on purpose to be a relatively complicated uh, thing to read and understand if someone was interested what is happening here in this um, defined under 18 um, they maybe want a little more clarity than that so what I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this out I'm gonna put it in here back into my um, edit DRD, and I'm going to put it into, my, into a business knowledge model. It's also going to be implemented as a literal expression. The first thing we need is, let's put in the expression, and this is going to take in a user date of birth, which means I need to add a parameter called user DOB. This is a string, and so this means that I can call this from anywhere with any string and then be able to get a result from it. The name of this is going to be called um, is under is under 18. Great. And the result is going to be a Boolean. So this is really handy because I've now just defined a function which takes in um, um, a year, month, and day variable, and then tells me yes or no, under 18 or not. So uh, let's go back here. How do we call this and how do we use it? Well, we can use it in lots of different places. Here we're gonna use it in this literal expression, and I'm just going to go back to the DRD for a moment and just, just edit this to make it a little easier. I'm gonna call this is under 18, and uh, then I'm gonna go back here into my decision and I'm said I'm going to say is so now is under 18 is defined as an av available expression and I'm going to say that the user DOB goes in there and now we can call this uh, expression and now we have we can call this anywhere we like in the DMN if this was something reusable we could use as well it's very very handy I quite like it um, and uh, it can be very very good for as I said making quite complex field expressions much more easy to read by people by defining them as a function. So now we're going to deploy and run this. 
Okay, now earlier I deployed my BPMN model, so I just need to deploy my DMN. Because they're linked by a key, it means I can actually make changes to my DMN model um, without actually needing to redeploy the BPMN model. They just get called in runtime. So deployment is very simple. You click on the deploy button up here, and then you select uh, a cluster that you like. My favorite today is Alfie64. So let's deploy it. Great, that's deployed. That means now I can actually run this. To run this, I'm going to go to my... Um, BPMN model and I'm going to deploy it from I'm going to start an instance from here. So let's do that. Uh, there's my instance. This then will call it and let's see if I click on run. There we go. It's loading some stuff. Cool. So there's my eligibility check. Now here's the under 18 variable that I'm not using anymore. Uh, my name is Niall. I'm not going to capitalize my first letter because you know I don't think people deserve it. I'm now a VIP though. Uh, my birthday is going to be August. Now let's go with uh, January 1st. And my engagement score, I don't know, is 45. And let's run. So this is going to start an instance of the process and we get to see what happens to our DMN table, how it executes, and uh, find out if I'm eligible for an upgrade yet. Um, now, as we can see, we've already started the instance. We have executed the table and now we are here. So if I open this up, this is the really fun part because this is where we get to see what happened. So we see here that we have uh, the inputs, which are engagement score 45, uh, is under 18, which is a variable we calculated. And I can take a look at that on the DRD over here, which is actually interactable. So you can see up there, I can see what happened over here, and I can see this resulted in true. Great stuff. And we can see that this was executed as well which is really nice. So that's basically showing our DMN table has been um, uh, finished. The result is that I am now eligible for an upgrade. Now, in the next video, we are going to explore the DRD in a little more detail by adding a new, more complex table to the mix, specifically one that's going to calculate this engagement score. See you then.